Tell me, who are you? Nancy, I'm here to help Jesslyn. <laughs> oh, she needs help, you can be sure. <laughs> but from you? <laughs> Northern girl? No! Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you, a good one. What? One reason to spare you. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. Spirits? You're nuts, lady. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's too late for that now. You can't scare me. Help me find Jesslyn or get out of the way. Very good. I'm here to find Jesslyn. That's reason enough. Foolish, but come. Remove the blindfold. You have no idea where you are. Just who are you? Harper, can I trust you? Can you be trusted? Of course. Then I trust you. Well, that depends. Can you be trusted? That's a no now, isn't it? You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. That would be at the top of my list of questions, yes. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. Why not? It is undeniably frigid here, cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire, and the fire will build some smoke, and the smoke will build some rain. Are you ignoring my question? Not ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing, pausing for effect. Okay. Could you tell me now? A moment, hon. <clears throat> it's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath with delusions of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. My family resents me. They have publicly said that I'm a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end, and I threw the little runts down a well. You what? Oh, I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. Ah, help, I'm in a well. So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. Oh, wait, shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Here, take this. Go now. Quick, I haven't got all day. What do you know about Clara? She's cold. She's a cold person, nothing like Jessalyn. Ask her about Jessalyn. See how she reacts. Not like the caring mom she's pretending to be. Not if you really look. Can you tell me a little more about Clara? I could, but as a lover of the written word, I prefer show, not tell. So why don't you go ask her about her daddy? Can you tell me more about Charlotte? If I didn't love her so much, I would hate her beyond the great beyond. Why? Golden child, Charlotte. She was perfect in everyone's eyes, even mine. I wanted to be her when I grew up. But then one day I was older than my older sister, and older still today. Were you and Clara close as children? I don't want to talk about it. You don't have to go into it. Should I even have to? Look at me down here, and she's up there. I try not to hate her, but I can't help it. I'd really like to know. It might be important. She could have been good to me. She could have been there when I needed someone, but she wasn't. Why are you here? Jessalyn, poor little Jessie Lamb has vanished, they say. Can't have that. Not here. No, no, not on the island. Why not here? No, I won't let the workers have her. Workers? They won't rest, and they want Jessalyn just like they took sh No. Took who? Don't you worry. You can't have her. You have taken enough. Do you really believe in the ghost? Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She's spoken to me. What exactly did her ghost say? Boo. Huh. Now my fault she's a stickler for convention. She also says, get out. Oh, right, almost forgot. She says that she hates you and she wants you to leave. This house is pretty run down. Are you sure it's safe to use that furnace? No. Maybe you should not use it? You could be filling the house with fumes. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. I'm downstairs people. What do you think of Wade? 
the Wade man of Alcatraz. Don't trust him about a single thing in this living world. The world of the dead, he understands that. You're dressing up as Charlotte or doing something to fake these hauntings, aren't you? <laughs> the hits keep coming. <gasps> you're a doll, a real peach. Ew! Ooh, you're not kidding, are you? Am I dressing up as my dead sister for kicks? After the only family member everyone can agree on has gone missing? Is that what you're asking? Yes, that's the question. The implication was more or less added by you. No, I am not, so shut it! You. I had to come out here because of you. I still don't understand why you're hiding. You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. I trust you. You do? Then don't tell anyone where I am. But just so you know, you shouldn't trust me either. I don't have your best interests at heart. I trust them far more than you. Your funeral. You can tell them where I am, but I will always be one step ahead of you. Always. Leave that alone. What are you doing? Get out of there. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? No. Then shh. Use your inside of a crypt voice. At this point, yes. You do? Well then, gotta fly. Oh, look. It's little old you. Where's the cavalry? Why are you still hiding? What's to stop me from telling everyone where you are? Maybe I'm the only one who can help find Jessalyn. Did you ever think of that? I doubt that. Tell them. They won't believe you. All right, I won't tell. Tell me about Charlotte. She was my big sister. Do you really think she's... I know. How do you know? No, no more. When Shaw died, that was the end of my family. I was left completely alone. All I have to call home are those memories. If I share them, they won't be mine anymore. That's not true at all, says the girl who's never seen a drop of rain fall on her perfect life. I lost my mom when I was a girl. Oh, then you must be an expert on everything. But sharing my memories of her always made her seem closer, not further away. You've seen her? What they've made her into? You think I want her closer? And people think I'm crazy. You're crazy. Speak. Quick, I haven't got all day. Clara came to live with you after her mom died. Is that right? Yes. Did you get along? Yeah, we was a regular Tom and Huck to start. <laughs> Are you the one writing the notes I keep finding? What answer do you want me to say? Are you looking for a yes or a no? Or the, ah, the in-between one? Just the truth. Oh, now that I can't help you with. I don't function well in reality. Do you know why seeing an old film of Charlotte's birthday would upset Clara that much? Did it upset her? Quite a bit. Oh, I wish I could have seen it. Reenact it for me now. You be Clara. Show me what happened. I really don't want to do that. Spoil sport. What was even the point then? Did you leave that out for me to find? No. 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 Maybe. Why? Because I want her to be sad every single day of her miserable little life. And I had a hunch it would be funny. Was I right? No. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you just don't want to say it. Enough. You have to tell me what you're doing. You don't tell me enough. It doesn't work that way. When it's time to find out, you'll find out. I promise you. I'd better get going. Goodbye. Can't stay away. Don't want to go in the house. Don't blame you. Need something? Clara said you had a troubled childhood. Is that true? Troubled? No, I was an angel. And I must have been quite the genius charmer, too, because one day they shipped me off straight to the most elite private boarding school on the East Coast. At least that's what I believed was happening, until we were creeping up the long and whirly black driveway, and I caught my first glimpse of the bars on the windows. I became the first Thornton to be admitted to the Millicent P. Krauthammer Sanitarium for Criminally Insane Girls and Women of Good Social Standing. 
I'm one of the few girls to actually graduate from that program. I got a little diploma that says Harper's no longer a danger to herself or others and everything. And just yesterday, the Alumni Association sent me one of them dried macaroni pictures, inviting me to speak at a function. But as you can see, I am otherwise engaged. I really upset Clara, thanks to you. Did she cry? And if she did, was it one stoic little tear like she was going for one of the movie awards? Or was it a big, snuffly, ugly cry? Oh, she's an ugly cry. I hate to bring that to the table, but it is the truth. You made me upset a woman whose daughter is missing. Oh, she's a big girl now. The truth shouldn't upset her. Don't look at me like that. I'm bored down here, and she's done worse to me. Where do you live when you're not here? Wouldn't you like to know? And wouldn't I like to know? (laughs) Why did your family send you away? Why don't you ask your beloved Clara? I'd better get going. Go leave. Can't stay away. Clara says that you really went to a boarding school, not a sanitarium. Revisionist? I suppose next she'll say Wade spent a year earning merit badges at Camp Mandatory. I'd better get going. Goodbye!